Jim, you ever get invited to a party or know of a party and you kind of just, you cruise by it first before you even go in? Because you maybe have another, a couple options for what you might do for the night. So you just cruise by the party, see if it's any good. Bounce if it's no good. Stick around if you like it. You ever, you ever do that? Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do with the Brewers, man. When it's not a good time, I don't want to be super invested. It hurts too much. But when that party looks like it's a rockin', I'm going out in. Uh, I've had the Brewers gear long enough. You know, I just have to wave to the bouncer, and he's let me right into that Brewers party because he's like, he's this guy's been here forever. I just haven't seen him for a while. See, we're we're just we're just casual Brewers fan. If you did that with a friend of yours, they would no longer call you a friend. Yeah, they would say you're just an acquaintance. I mean, if it's my friend was hosting, it's more of like I know of a party. Let's check it out. No, dude, that's perfect. Primetime's got it right. <laughs> that's the point. You're either fair weather or bandwagon at best because it's that. Because yeah. you just described then someone that you, fan. you're an acquaintance of the Brewers. Yes. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. That's it. You're not a friend. You're an acquaintance. Oh, but, but we have friendly intentions. You don't even have the brewer's contact saved. <laughs> <laughs> New phone. It's just who the phone number. It's a four one, <laughs> random 414 that number. That he gets a text yeah. from right around this time of yeah. year. Want to go to a game? Yeah. <laughs> you bet. I'm hosting. You bet your uh, bottom dollar I'm God. going to that game. Rip and Rona chimes in. And here's the question we're asking you. Is Matt Hamilton, <laughs> who has... Intention, he has not intentionally watched any Brewers baseball this year. Like but apparently, I, unintentionally, he yeah. has been at bars and the Brewer game has been on, but he has not intentionally geared any up. Nor has he really probably watched it when he's at these places. Is that fair I, to say? I mean, not every pitch, but but you know. now Matt Hamilton just decked out like Bernie Brewer doing his best Bernie <laughs> Brewer in, impersonation. He does right look here. a bit like him. yes, no, not even a bit, a lot like he him. looks. I mean, he's a dead ringer for Rob Deere, former Brewer. Here's the uh, thing. As well. I had that wonderful chain from. Uh, from uh, Chalmers Jewelers, yeah. I just wanted to feel like a pitcher, you know, because the pitchers always have yeah, the gold the chains, chains on flinging around everywhere. Yeah, so I just wanted to get my channel, my inner Corbin Burns. The texts continue <laughs> to come in here, 844-770-3776. Is Matt Hamilton a, a Fairweather fan or a bandwagon fan? Rip and Rona chimes in. I just picture Matt watching the game tonight. We have a 3-2 lead headed to the top of the ninth, and Matt goes, it's over. Hater never blows these. <laughs> Do you know why we're laughing? Hater's not on the there team anymore. Wow. I, had to, I had to clear that up. Yes, 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 yes. I do remember that one. That was when we traded him away in the middle of a season where we were still in the hunt. And I remember I that. I didn't make a big deal. When was that? Yeah, which two season? years ago. <sighs> nope. Right? Or was it last year? That was last year. <sighs> you, you and I were doing a show together. I know. That's that's a good point. Pete and Fitch Feels Vegas like chimes in. Feels like a lot longer. Shows how much he remembers the show, too. God. That's the only reason he knows about the hater thing, because I was disgusted. Yeah. Uh, Mitch, uh, Pete and Fitch Vegas chimes in. Matt is filling me with disgust today. Oh, Instead no. of exhausting the conversation about whatever the hell the Packers are doing, maybe talk about the Brewers. It makes sense, since everyone listening has to pay so much attention to keep the team in Milwaukee. Go crew. Go crew. Agreed. Sorry I'm making you sick with it, but I'm just, I'm on board. I'm probably the reason ticket prices go up in the playoffs. Fans like me. So I understand so that's the disgust yeah. with it and why it would upset you. Hold on. Can I ask a question? Matt, did you did you buy that jersey from the team store? How'd you get it? The one you're wearing right now. This was this jersey was gifted to me from the team. Turn, oh, around, and yeah, turn who, around and show the fans on, on YouTube and at Jim and Matt on Twitter. That's right. Hamilton 18 in honor of when he won the gold medal. And who you threw, yeah. who, who'd you throw that to? Bruce. A, a brewer. One of, the, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the guys in the starting lineup. Give me a name of one guy on the team not named Christian Yelich. Um, Craig Council is definitely the manager at the time. I thought All he was right. about to say he still plays for the team. No, oh my definitely God. was the manager. Uh, JB from the V-Chems <laughs> in. Yeah. Guarantee Hamilton orders some Brewers playoff merch and uses the term like we when referencing the Brewers. Hashtag I, fair weather. To be fair, I use the term we when I talk about any Wisconsin sports team at any time. Uh, Tim in Oregon chimes in and says, Matt, you bring one of those uh, Dancing Goat Distillery whiskey bottles and you can come party with him, make the game fun no matter what. You're welcome. Woo! Yeah, see? Sometimes these Fairweather fans, you know, I might be a Fairweather fan, but I like to party. Fun. I'm a good time. You do like to party. You do like to have a good time. <laughs> and you like your chain from Chalmers Jewelers because it makes you look like a pitcher. Uh, yeah. Custom jewelry. They can fix jewelry. They can make custom jewelry. You can get a watch so you can treat yourself or treat someone important in your life. Go to Chalmers Jewelers. Scott is going to source all the gems, including diamonds himself, 
and then it's going to be up to his design team and his his jewelers there to create something special for you, whether it's his son Garrett or any of his other uh, fantastic jewelers. They're going to make something special for you. So the next time you need something special for the special person in your life, push gift, engagement, weddings, treat yourself, any of these, you know, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, get something unique, go to Chalmers Jewelers. All right, Matt, it's time to play America's favorite game. Yeah. What Matt missed. Context is important. Oh, man. Except when you're an Olympic gold medalist. Honestly, I have no idea who it is. Here we go, yo. Obviously, he's talking about um, maybe. It's time for What Matt Missed on Rutledge and Hamilton. All right, we are quite literally putting Matt's fandom to the test this week. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Because I want to know how much he knows about this Brewers team. All right. so, I'll even turn my show sheet over that oh, you have do, yeah. information on All the on research I gave to you? Yes. It's out of play now. Okay. All right. I did take a quick glance already, so oh, I'm you sorry. Did, you did some homework ahead Well, of time. no. Wow, you, I research. got a show sheet from my executive producer, so I looked at it and gave him the respect and the time it deserved. Oh, executive producer. Huh? Yeah. Okay, did I get a promotion? Just buttering you up, bud. All <laughs> Give right, me some right. easy ones. All right, well, <laughs> let me see if you know at all what this audio clip is. Just describe, like, hearing the crowd and wondering what was going on. Uh, I guess they, they were celebrating before us because they were watching the, uh, the Cubs game. But like I told you before, you know, we wanted to win to celebrate, but I guess we're going to celebrate it anyway. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, we just want to win and, you know, just be comfortable and, you know, just get over this to concentrate for the next step. So I guess, you know, it's, it's, it feels good just to get over with and then just, you know, concentrate for the next step. So, Matt, I'm not even going to ask you who that was. <laughs> yeah. Just what was he talking about? Um, that was when the Brewers, like, had officially clinched the division. And it was during was the that? game. Uh, I want to say that was, like, a week ago, like, last week Tuesday. You are correct. It was exactly one week ago. Woo! That's because I'm a super squirrel. Brewer and, man. And how did, squirrel. how did they clinch the division exactly? Uh, the Cubs lost. The Cubs lost. Yes, that is correct. Actually, they <laughs> lost their game last Tuesday. Yes, Dude. but uh, so but this is this is Matt's Brewer fan. <laughs> that was a social media thing. Brewer yes, fans. That was from Adam McCalvey. Because the Cubs, lo- but the Cubs, Cubs lost lost in embarrassing fashion. There was a. A play very similar to what's happened oh, the Cubs in the past. Oh, that yes. That's so So that's brutal. the only reason that Matt <laughs> knows this happened, because it was on his timeline. But, but he knew it happened. Let's go. Right, but it's still, you are a, at best, Fairweather fan. All right. But you also, Matt. Super Who fan. was it? Who was, who was speaking? Doesn't here? matter. You told me it didn't matter. I, I, okay. I, I don't even know if I would know who was speaking personally. Uh, who was just, it? It was Willie Adamas. Oh, I would have guessed that. Oh, really? No. I he doesn't even know who Willie Adamas is. No, he doesn't. It was one I, of the names that he I called remembered him, when I, I should have asked him what position he played. He would have called him William Adams, all right? William Adams. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's see if Matt knows what this next clip is about. I'm a big fan of William, a- Sir William Adams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Matt. Here we go. You know, Christian said, too, like, he was going to pitch one game for us in this series. Does it help to have him? Of course. Uh, you you want to roll with, like, your best arms out there. But the reality is, like, they had to get through the majority of the season without him, and they had a lot of players step up. Um, you, you're handing the ball to Corbin Burns here in game one tonight. There's probably no one more you know, that you're more confident in than Corbin. Matt? Who is that, and who is she talking about at the beginning of that? Who's who's not in this series for the Brewers? Um, they're talking about Woodruff because I said he hurt his hand. He didn't. I ha- I was having PTSD of Devin Williams a while so, back. He I'll hurt himself. Pause, though. pause, pause. Back. He hurt you, himself. No, though. no, slow down. Well, hold on though. You are now confusing the hell out of our listeners because you said he hurt his hand in a yet to be released social media video that nobody in the world knows what you're talking about. So. You just okay. outed yourself because yes. that's not even out yet. So oh, well, I'm just being con- honest with our friend. Con- but, okay. Being honest. And I'm just providing context Thank to what you. you said. All right. Appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. I should know who that is because she used to talk with Wilde and Tausch. Like, She's from weekly. Madison. I Her know. Her dad coached at Middleton. Or Madison Edgewood, excuse me. I know. Me. I don't know, though. Do you, would you like me to tell you? Yeah, just I give up. Uh, I know they were talking about our injured You're right. Face. She used to talk with William Tausch Weekly, not because she used to. She still does. That was oh. this morning on William Tausch. <laughs> Sophia Minnert talking Sophia about Minner. Brandon oh, Woodruff man. being out for the series. Corbin Burns be starting game one. I, I knew that was going to be a name that I'm like, I know Shout the out. name. I'm just going to need to hear Sophia it. Sophia Minnert of Valley oh. Sports. Shout yeah. out to uh, Edgewood legend L. Al Minnert. 
her oh, dad. Oh, is that coach. her? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Well, speaking of you know local legends, let's see if uh, Matt knows what uh, local legend this clip is about. We know about the contract status of free agent to be. He has reiterated that he doesn't want to think about it until after the season. He's got two rings as a player. He's reached the mountaintop. And he says he still loves those 15, 20 minutes before the game when the anticipation is building and your heart is fluttering and you're getting excited. That's what he loves about postseason baseball. And here he is back in it with the team he grew up loving and watching. His dad worked for. We all know the story. Matt, do you know the story? Yeah, we all know the story. We all know the story. Yeah, Um, hometown kid. I honestly, I'm just going to take a stab in the dark and... Jim's going to out me for this. <laughs> but my only guess is that, is it about Josh Donald? Oh, my God. Why would it be about Josh Donald? <laughs> I have no idea. God. It said he no. had two rings. I didn't know if he As had one. As a player. Any. Yeah. Because he's no longer a player. That was about manager Craig Council. Manager Craig Council who signed and only two more years as the team's manager. And by the way, this was Dominic Catrone on WTMJ yesterday. So Matt. I'm sorry. I didn't. He- I wasn't listening. I was getting geared up for the game. Co- yeah. So from adding this, Matt, during the break, primetime war, I'm and our listeners okay. here. Yeah. So I gets all Jim excited because I told him, hey, you're going to enjoy this one. He's like, is it all about the Brewers for what Matt missed? And I said, yeah. So he's got his phone out and started trying to cheat. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want you to even. <laughs> put names in your head of players you can name but he saw josh donaldson he goes on the list on the list he said i know that guy now ryan how did the the brewers acquire josh donaldson uh well he got cut by the yankees earlier this season basically off the trashy they picked him up as he was in triple a up until like three weeks ago Oh. So you're ex- well, but he, ex- he used to be like, relevant for the Blue Jays. Right, but where I had player, yes. You are, heard of him. You are asking. Is like, this a player I heard like, of? But why would they be talking about a guy they literally picked up off the but trash heap about extending him? Because I knew forward. a lot of the players on the list had not won a ring before. So I was like, he was on the Yankees. Not that the Yankees won, but I mean, he's been around the league. I thought it was maybe a player that had recently been acquired. So I, I was just trying to use deductive reasoning and failed miserably. Very much so, I would say. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can fail miserably or not at this last Oh, you one. got another. I have one last Great. one. Great. Let's I go. I really want to see if you can tell me who this player is. All right? Who is this player speaking on this audio? It did not make sense to sign a contract right now, you know, like, because money is not important. A lot of <laughs> money is important. <laughs> <laughs> Such a gangster quote. <laughs> so I'm going to sign it next year. All right, who's signing their contract next year? Giannis. That is correct. No oh, man. I wanted to see if he would try to be like, is that, that the, is that the left fielder? Is that like, <laughs> yeah. did they pick him? Did they trade for him in the offseason? He's athletic enough. I feel like he would be good if you just put him in left field. I uh, think that's he a could big, do it. That's a big strike zone for, for our guy, Giannis. Yeah, but I imagine nobody's hitting it out of the park. He's just going to jump up at the wall. That would be insane. Yeah. Also, yeah. Worth noting, Josh Donaldson has zero World Series. Yeah, he does definitely. No, no. Yeah, so just like <laughs> he's always been on pretty Matt, mediocre teams. I was Matt's just de- trying to think Matt's of a guy who reasoning wasn't about Josh Donaldson was year. like, I know one guy in the Brewers, and it's Josh Donaldson. Well, no, it was so one say, guy <laughs> who was not in the Brewers last year. I was like, maybe this guy uh, won one somewhere else. Maybe Matt, he was on the Astros. Matt, can you go ahead and pick up the show sheet I gave you? Look, just look at the lineup. Like, tell me how many of, the, of those nine players in today's starting lineup for the Brewers. How many of them do you know? Uh, Yelich, I knew Willie Adames, uh, Josh Donaldson, and that. Oh, and Sal Freelich had a great start. He's like a rookie, right? He had a super hot start this season. Yes, so those are the prospect. names that I've actually heard of. I should have heard of Contreras. Contreras? Also, a con- oh, you no. have the wrong, wrong. You have the wrong Contreras on the team. Did I say? Did I say put Wilson Contreras? Yes. <laughs> Dear God. Do you all right. all his brother, it's idiot. his brother. That's his yes. brother. Okay. Come on. But you put a guy who was playing that's for the I, I only recognize the last name. name. You could not have put a worse person on the Brewers. The guy might be uh, public enemy number one. He's played for the Cubs and won a World Series of the Cubs, and he played for the Cardinals last year. Yeah, it's like Yadier Molina and then Wilson Contreras. That's <laughs> it's true. like a guy on the, like, in a, like, playing uh, on the Packers, who, or like assuming a guy played for the Packers, yet he played for the Bears and the Vikings and the Lions, and like he's played everyone but the Packers. That's kind of like Julius Peppers. Jared Allen, didn't he play for the Bears? He at played one point? for one. But he never played for the Packers. But but J- Jared Allen would be yeah. the right yeah, answer because he yeah, played yeah, for the Vikings. That's essentially what it is. Yes, not Julius Peppers because he played for the Bear, one team. All right, yes. Mistake on my part when I put together the show sheet. It's William Contreras. Who we plays are the Bears. a baseball show. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you're screwing me up here, Ryan. I would have nailed it. You just confused oh, me. Oh, would you have? <laughs> you yeah, just would you? confused me. Yeah. All right, Matt. When Sticks you, and stones, when you, but words confuse me. When you pretend to be a Brewers fan tonight, uh, yeah. what line is you cracking open? Oh, you know what? 
I think I'm going to try and lean into these summer vibes. It still feels like it's in the 80s out. I was mowing my lawn. I was getting my summer vibes.